Hi, honeys. It's Michelle. I just got back from the Dollar Tree. Well, actually, I went to two of them. Um, there was enough that I didn't find at the first one. I decided to go to two. And, well, the second one didn't have everything I was looking for either. I was looking for that I am wet cat food that they used to carry. Now they have their own brand. I'm not willing to risk that because I don't think it's made here and I've read a lot of bad things about cat and dog food not made in America so I, I don't want to mess with that and then um, and that was both places too which is so disappointing it's like you, you don't have something else but and then um, you know the the straws that people use for um, iced coffee that are stainless steel I really want those because I don't want these kind of straws to melt and the water, or the water, <laughs> the paper ones are even worse, the way they disintegrate in hot things. So um, I am drinking iced coffee in a big mug, and then I have this big straw in the top. It See, the stainless steel ones, some of them curve, so it's really nice. And I saw a Vivian Tries video, and she was talking about how... Um, the Dollar Tree has these nice stainless steel straw sets. I think it's, she said it was four, two curved and two straight, also with a cleaner. One of the little, what do you call those? Uh, pipe cleaner, type cleaner, but for a straw. And uh, so I looked both places. Of course, they didn't have them. And I'm excited. I'm using a Christmas mug. Oh, in case you want to see it up close. It's a bunch of vintage Santa Claus images, probably from, I think they're from old postcards and stamps and stuff. And I found that at the Goodwill. But that's not why you're here. You're here to see what I got at the Dollar Tree. So I got this uh, to wrap a Christmas gift in. I thought, gosh, this is so cute. It's tempting to always buy these little boxes, but then what do you do with them if you're not, if you don't have something you're going to wrap them in? Wrap in them? Wrap in them. So I found this little bowl and I thought it might be nice for Marty when he plays with those mechanical fish that he has. The bowl I got him before, I think it's too deep. So I thought this might be fun. But then I was also thinking, so now I don't know if I need to get another one. Wouldn't it be cute if I put a bunch of these in you know, a bowl. This might not be enough of them, but I think I have more. But like just fill it up with bells or some kind of bowl. I don't have to use this bowl, but that's why I got these bells. I thought that would be so cute. Um, somebody showed a video where they had just taken a glass or plastic bowl and filled them with these kind of bells and tossed them on a counter or a table. And I thought that's too cute. I have to do it now. I have no choice. I got some of these clear ornaments. I like to do some DIY ornamenting. And then I found these. I thought these were so cute. They're LED lights that you can hang up outside and like a tree in the front yard or something. Aren't these adorable? I got some binder clips. I have found these larger binder clips are perfect for chip clips. And even if it's something that goes in the freezer, like tater tots or something, these work great for that too. I just find that they work so much better with food and actually sealing what I'm trying to seal after I folded it a few times, whereas the plastic ones, they just fall apart. They don't do a good, you know, clamp. <laughs> so um, I'm going back to using these. I got a couple things for Marty. Um, I got him some of this catnip that he likes. And then I got this for him. I haven't seen these in a while at the Dollar Tree. And um, he likes to go out on, whoops, I showed you the back of it. He likes to go out on the balcony and lay on these old throw mats that I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, and I thought, you know, these, this would be more comfortable for him. So... I'm going to toss that out there, see if he likes it. If he does, maybe I'll get a couple more. But it just seems like sunbathing would be nicer on this than like a, a hard mat. I finally found my favorite chapstick again. 
I love, see what I like this with especially, or what I like this for especially is putting it on right before I go to bed at night. It stays on my lips all night long. It's almost like a lip mask, I feel like, except it's not a lip mask. And it's also cooling, which I love because I feel like that vapor kind of makes it easier for me to breathe. <laughs> I love this stuff. I think it's amazing. So I got two of them because I was so excited to actually see them again. I went, I couldn't find them anywhere. And I went on Amazon and looked and it was like $15 for six of them or something. I thought that's all right. I'll just <laughs> keep looking. And finally, finally, I found them again. I found this. If This is so cute. Look at, look at the packaging. Just and it's um, the Pure Brand Hydrating Lipstick infused with rose oil. And I don't know what color this is. I think it's red. I hope it's red. I want it to be red. Oh. oh. <laughs> Why do I love red lipstick so much? Look at that. It's a pretty cool shade of red, which I'm cool complected. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to apply this with my phone. Okay. What do you think? I like that. It's, um, it's really more like a uh, lip gloss than a lipstick. Cause I have lipsticks that are dark red like this. And when you put them on, it's like pure red there. And this has got like a glossy kind of, it's, it applies a little bit lighter than this color. And, um, it is very, moisturizing. I usually put some kind of lip gloss over my lipstick because I don't like having real dry lips and I wouldn't need to with this. It feels very moisturizing, but it does smell like, yeah, it smells like rose oil though. If you don't like the smell of rose oil, don't get this. But if you do, I got some nail polish remover. I always, always, always get this at the Dollar Tree. I have never noticed a difference with other brands of nail polish remover. So I know some things people say, oh no, you gotta get whatever brand. This, you can just get this at the Dollar Tree. You will never notice a difference, <laughs> except the price. Because if you noticed how expensive this is now, everywhere else, it's a lot. I can't believe how much everything is in general everywhere else. I'm so excited about this. Look, Jot is making the old school label makers. Do you remember these? I certainly do, and I loved them. And I'll be honest, I don't like the new bougie ones that you can print with. They just, I feel like they always break within a week. I don't like that label sticker stuff that, that comes out of them. I don't like the font, but this, yes, I'm excited about this. So, let's see here. Is that all I need to do? Where does it come out at? <laughs> I guess I need to... Hmm. Well, there's something I'm not understanding. Nothing's coming out. Unless the tape is sold separately. I don't know. Um, so you can... You can turn the dial to what you want, kind of like an old rotary phone. <laughs> that is so weird. What? If this makes sense to you, if you know how to use this, let me know. <sighs> Dermacil lotion. I have tried so many other lotions and I keep coming back to these. I'm obsessed with these. These are a few of my favorite things, I have to say. Um, I like to have this one on my nightstand and put it on my legs, feet, elbows, hands before I go to bed at night. And this one, 
I like to have next to where I sit at the couch, um, like on my side table, so that whenever I want to put lotion on, after I wash my hands or whatever, it's right there. I love the way this stuff smells. This one is a little bit more heavy duty, but I love them both so much. And I've bought lotions that are so much more money, and I just don't like them the same as these two. Now, when it comes to moisturizing after I get out of the shower, I would not use either one of these, though. I still like body butter and oil and all this other kind of stuff. But these are where it's at for around the house. So these candles here, you put two batteries in them, um, two AAA batteries. And these, it says 100 hours, um, 50 hours each. I have to say, these are amazing. We had these when we lived in Florida. And when Hurricane Ida hit, we did not have power for six days. I think it was six or seven days. Remember, it was like right at or right under a week. And we had two of these and they lasted the whole time. And what you do to turn them on, you twist them at the bottom. So we would turn them off, obviously, during the day or when we were sleeping. But these were amazing. And I don't know where they are. So I wanted to get more of them. But the other thing that's nice about these they kind of look like candles, you know, when they're lit up. They're, they're just very kind of cute and quaint. You could put them in your window um, during the holidays, and they're LED, so I don't think that they're flammable or anything. But one thing I will say, I don't recommend getting batteries at the Dollar Tree. I've bought name brand batteries there and their brand and anything, you know, and they, I feel like they all die very quickly. Like, they must be close to their expiration date. Or maybe they're batteries that um, in the manufacturing plant just didn't meet some kind of test. I don't know. But I feel like they never last as long. So that is one thing I would not recommend getting at the Dollar Tree is batteries. But um, these are amazing. They're definitely worth $1.25. And you never know when an emergency might happen. It might even be a good idea to have them in the car. Like if some kind of an emergency happens, you can kind of carry it and... <laughs> Use it to change a tire or to see where you're going if you're lost or I don't know Or see where you're going if you're walking around somewhere outside. I don't know. I just feel like they're really a good good investment <laughs> And then I I got this because I've been wanting some more hooks in our bedroom to hang clothes on but the metal ones that I like that they sell um the metal part here, it's too thick. On the top of my door, it just, the door won't close. I don't know if this is any thinner, but I thought I could at least try it. And if it doesn't work, what I'll probably do is go to Hobby Lobby or something and buy like a sign that um, I don't care about what it says, or maybe even a plain wood sign and just put this over it and then hang it up or something. <laughs> I got to figure it out though, because I really want hooks in our bedroom. We all do that, right? You take off like a hoodie. You don't want to wash it every time you wear it because you wear it for like an hour when you wear it. You want to wear it a few times before you wash it. That kind of stuff I want to be able to hang up. Okay, and I cannot remember her name. I, there's a lady on here that has a good channel and I don't know if she does other things. I always watch um, whatever comes up on my suggestions with her and it's always Dollar Tree, but... YouTube knows I love Dollar Tree videos, so I don't know if she does other stuff or not, but I will link her channel down in the description box. But she was talking about these large storage bags, how she uses them to store holiday stuff, and I thought, why is never, no one has ever, blah, blah, blah. why has no one ever mentioned this to me before, and how did I never think of this before? It seems so obvious, right? And she even mentioned, if you... Because a lot of times at Dollar Tree, you have to buy stuff when you see it. You can't wait until it's that season. So she was saying you could have a bag like this in a closet somewhere. You could see through the bag so you know what's in there. But you know, oh, this is where I'm setting my Christmas stuff aside or that kind of thing. And I thought, that is genius. I mean, it seems obvious, but I wasn't thinking of it. So um, I was really excited and I wanted to see what kind of 
storage stuff that they had. So out of the two Dollar Trees, one had absolutely nothing, and the other one did have a few things. So I'm going to show you what they had. They had these, which seem like perfect for outdoor decor, especially like Christmas lights, the little things, stakes we put in the yard. Well, these might not be long enough, but they've got two teeth on them. So it'd be a nice way to put things that maybe you don't want to put in a box um, in the garage or in storage and be able to see what they are without them getting dusty. So really like the idea of that. And then let's see this bag. It was six bags of this Surefresh brand for $1.25. Speaking of that, is anything a dollar in my store? I noticed, was it, was it her or somebody else that was talking about nothing has gone down to a dollar in their store? Yeah, I bought uh, all kinds of different things and everything was a dollar twenty-five at, at both stores. So. I don't know when they're, ch I, I think, have, have, if you've seen anything back at a dollar, let me know. Because it's supposed to be things like spices and just some of the, I guess, smaller stuff. So here's the other one that I got. Large storage sacks. Now, they did. this is the only size they had. I don't know if they have extra large. I'm kind of hoping they do. But, um, because, you know, when it comes to storage, the bigger the better, right? These are a good size, though. And this has, it looks like, three teeth on it. So this is about the same size as the red one, right? Olive is so into what I'm doing, by the way. <laughs> I wish you could see her right now. Okay. Yeah. It's about the same size. Um, what is it that you're so excited about, Olive? Hmm? She was smelling something that I already showed you. But I like that these have a handle on them. So it would be easy to slide, you know, the curved part of a hanger through this and just hang it in the closet or something for storing things. Maybe not even holiday things, but like lingerie or bras or, I don't know, scarves, whatever, you know, we don't wear like all the time. Well, I do wear bras all the time, but you know what I mean, right? <laughs> Nylons. And these are, these are definitely thicker, though, than the other ones I showed you. So there's only two for $1.25, but the quality's there. And then the other thing I got for storage, and then she didn't mention this one, but a jumbo storage bag, perfect for sweaters, shirts, slacks, skirts, blouses, blah, 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 blah. So this is a pretty good size. It says that it's... 28.7 inches long, 15.3 inches wide, and 5.9 inches high. So what this would do, I think, as far as holidays go, things that I put out in the yard would be nice in here, or even things I hang on the wall. Um, it's not really big enough for, I guess it could be big enough for um, wrapping paper if you had the smaller, shorter rolls, you know? But there's so many things that you could store in this. I thought, gosh, this would be another nice thing to have for holiday storage. So I will let you know. <laughs> I'll try to remember to let you know if I use this and what I use it for. Okay, everything else I got. What, you want to smell this? Okay. <laughs> I held up the packaging that came in and all of it was like, what do you have? Why do you think I have something for you, Olive? Got more of these Snyder's pretzel snaps. We love these. Got some Top Ramen. I have to say, at my grocery store, these are two for a dollar. So I thought five for one twenty-five was worth it. Um, I really like these saltines. I am bummed that they now only come with two sleeves for one twenty-five, but. It's still more affordable than the grocery store. I saw these and had, I just have to try them. Tillamook Chop House Bits. Chopped and formed tender cuts of pork. Hawaiian style teriyaki made with real pineapple. What? Doesn't that sound like it might be really good? I really like Tillamook cheese. 
So why not try it? These ones says made with real cheese, jalapeno cheddar. So this could be fun, especially on the weekend. If I put a movie on, I could get some olives and not you, Olive. <laughs> You'll already be there. Um, put these out and maybe some crackers and cheese and that kind of thing. That'd be kind of nice during like a movie night or something, wouldn't it? Speaking of movie nights, Brad likes popcorn, so I got more popcorn. I got, I love this pasta sauce. I think it's so good. <laughs> I do. And at the grocery store, it's not a dollar anymore. It used to always be a dollar. Now it's it's more than that. I think the last time I saw it, it was a dollar forty something. And I thought, well, okay, fine. I'll start getting it at the Dollar Tree again then. Um chicken noodle soup. This is like the 80s and 90s kind. You remember this? Do you remember? <laughs> this reminds me of being sick as a kid, you know? And then um, vegetable beef. I also got beef barley. And then Brad really likes this one, the healthy choice chicken noodle. I got, have you tried this? Pure Sparkle. They have this one, which is lemon lime, $1.25 for four cans. That's so good. I think at my grocery store, if I get eight cans, even if it's generic, it's usually at least $4 now. So I was all about this. And then I also got the other flavor, which is Mandarin Orange. So if you've tried it, let me know if it's good. I love flavored coffee, but I found with the holidays, especially Christmas time, um, I like my own peppermint coffee because I don't like peppermint mocha. I like peppermint. So I just make regular coffee and put stuff like this in there. Just one of these. It'll make it just absolutely amazing. I want eggnog flavor coffee. I just put eggnog in plain coffee. And then I do love peppermint so much. And this is my favorite peppermint candy. So I broke down and bought myself one of these. <laughs> I saw these and I thought, oh my gosh, these are so good on casseroles of all different types. Except once again at the grocery store, it's four or five dollars now for one of those cans of the um, crispy onions. And I never use the whole can, so then it ends up going bad and I'm wasting product and spending so much on it. I'd rather get this. It's a little bit less, I think. It's um, 2.8 ounces. Oh, non-GMO. I, I love seeing that on food. Um, it's low in sodium. It does not have much in the way of ingredients at all. Um, so... Huh, made in Holland. Okay. I never, I don't know why I never thought of this. You can put this on burgers. That would be good, wouldn't it? Buttery homestyle mashed potatoes. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that like, I prefer to make my own mashed potatoes with real potatoes and stuff. However, sometimes I just want to throw something together quickly but I, I don't want to go get fast food. And, and this is the kind of stuff that I would make on a night like that. Just this with some meatballs or something. But that sounds good, doesn't it? McTrader stuffing mix for chicken. No high fructose corn syrup. And I thought this must be a Dollar Tree brand, but when I was looking at it, uh, nope, it's McLean Global which is a product of Canada. But what really got me excited was the recipe on the side, which I saw when I was standing in line. I'm farsighted so I could actually read it from afar or at least see what it was. And I thought, oh my gosh, this looks amazing. It's stuffed bell peppers with um, chicken stuffing, onion, garlic, actual chicken, cheese. Doesn't that sound good? 
So that's actually why I bought it. I mean, I do like to use stuffing sometimes as a side, but especially for this recipe, I had to have it. And um, we're actually not having stuffing on Thanksgiving this year. <laughs> I did talk to my favorite cashier, the cashier at the second Dollar Tree, and she was telling me that a lot of people are saying today they didn't realize that Thanksgiving is so close, and I am one of them. It just hit me last night. Thanksgiving's a week away. A week away. So I'm going to be going to Target in a couple days, and I'm going to get all the ingredients I need for Thanksgiving. If I get anything interesting, I'll let you know. I'm assuming you don't care about my grocery orders, though, right? Or do you? I mean, if you do, let me know. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? Are you going anywhere? Are you staying home? Are you celebrating? Are you going to... We're just going to have a cozy day at home. We're very excited about the food and maybe just watching a few movies or something. Um, but it's definitely going to be an intimate evening at home. And uh, that'll be nice, though, because Olive loves turkey. And I'm going to give her some turkey. <laughs> she doesn't know it yet, but you'll find out. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day or night. I love you. Bye.